Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Taylor, but everybody calls me Tay. And today we are back with another video, okay? So this video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a TMI tag slash get to know me tag. So in this video, y'all about to get all the juice. Y'all about to get all the little spicy tea. I'm about to answer some questions that you guys might be curious about okay so without further ado before we get into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that you guys can be updated and alerted every single time i post a video now let's get into the tag so question number one what are you wearing okay so i'm wearing a h m hoodie and it says nasa on it and it is a nude crop it. It's not even a crop. It's not crop. It's a regular sized hoodie. And it says Nassau and it's nude and it's from H&M. Second question. Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have been in love before. Third question. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? I've never had a terrible breakup before. Question number four. How tall are you? I am 5'5". Five five. Question number five. How much do you weigh? Like, none of your business. You ever heard you never supposed to ask the lady how much they weigh? But I weigh, I, don't, I really don't know the exact amount. I think I'm probably like 170 something. Um, question number six, do you have any tattoos? No, I do not have any tattoos and I do not plan on getting any tattoos. Question number seven, do you have any piercings? Yes, I do have piercings. I have um, my ears pierced. I have three holes, right? As I say, I have three piercings on each side and I do want to get my belly pierced, but I don't know. I'm scared because I heard that um they don't do the gun like what they like how they do for the ears they do the needle and um, i don't even know about what that i don't know um, number eight what is something you do when no one is watching <laughs> something i do when no one is watching i would say i dig in my nose but then again i dig in my nose even when people are watching that's kind of nasty. See, question number nine. What is your favorite show? Hmm. I can't think of my favorite show right now, but one of the shows that I'm watching on Hulu is the Bernie Mac show. So I'll say that that's my favorite show for right now because that's all I watch. That's the only show that I watch right now that I never really watched before. And that show is funny as fuck. So if you have not already, make sure you go tune into the Bernie Mac show. Number 10, what are your favorite bands? I don't have no favorite bands. So, 11, have you ever kissed someone of the same sex? You in my business? Don't do that. What's your favorite song? My favorite song. What's my favorite song right now? Uh, I have a couple favorite songs right now, but one of my favorite songs I'm gonna have to say is Laugh Now, Cry Later by Drake. How old are you? I am 22 years old and November 8th, I will be 23. Number 14, what is your zodiac sign? Come on, don't act fucking dumb. You already know what my zodiac sign is. Scorpio, what superstitions do you follow? Um, my family, we kind of follow a couple superstitions. Like, don't open an umbrella in the house. Um, don't put your hat on the bed. Um, on New Year's, on New Year's Day, like, before you walk into the house, a man has to be the first person to walk in. I don't know why a man has to be the first person to walk in, but that's just what we do every single New Year's. Um, also on New Year's, before we go into the new year, we have to have money in our pocket. Like, we have to have money in our pocket. Um, what else? That's all I can think about right now as far as superstitions go. What is your favorite quote? My favorite quote is, comparison is the thief of joy. 
And that was actually my senior quote in high school. I put that in the yearbook because that shit is so true. Like, especially with social, the way social media runs today, people be so busy on social media looking at what the next person is doing, looking at how much money the next person have, looking at the newest bag this girl have on and the newest sneakers that this boy have on. Like, and you know, this person just got an apartment and they 22 but i'm over here and i'm 22 and i still live in my mom's house like if you compare your compare yourself to other people like that will steal your joy so that's definitely why that's one of my favorite quotes because it's so true number 17 who is your favorite actor my favorite actress is queen latifah like i love me some queen latifah also i love drew barrymore and I love Adam Sandler. They, those are some good actors and actresses. And um, Denzel Washington, and Will Smith, and Jamie Foxx. Oh, the list goes on and on. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. And it's on Fury. Loud music or soft music? It depends on my mood. Like, if I'm going out to a party, then best believe I want to hear loud music. I want to hear Caribbean music. I want to hear brook, 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 a dome. Hey, brook, 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 a Hey, like that's what I want to hear when I'm about to go out. Break it down is so old. Like I could have picked another song, but that's my vibe when it's time to go out. Now, if I'm in my feelings, <sighs> R&B soft music. Like number twenty. How many relationships have you been in? I've been in four relationships, including the one that I'm in right now. How long does it take for you to shower? I wanna say it takes about 20 to 30 minutes for me to shower on a good day. Yeah, 20 to 30 minutes. How long does it take for you to get ready in the morning? Just know it's the shower and doing my hair that takes the longest. Question number 23, have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes, I have been in a physical fight before. I've only been in one one-on-one -on -one fight. And if you know, you fucking know. Maybe I'll do a story time on that one day. Maybe I won't, who knows. <laughs> what are your turn-ons? My turn-ons are nice lips, Smelling good, a fresh, crispy fit, fresh sneakers. Um, obviously, breath gotta be smelling good, a nice haircut. Um, somebody that has something going for themselves. Um, yeah, those are my turn ons. What are your turn offs? When a nigga sneakers is dirty, when their fingernails are dirty, um, a guy that that like wants to show off what they have, I hate that. Um, disrespectful guys turn off. Um, that's what I can think about right now. All right, question. Question 26, the reason you joined YouTube, always been on YouTube, like, I always used to get on YouTube when I was younger, but at that time, like, junior high school and stuff like that, I used to look up, like, lyrics to songs, uh, I used to look up, like, people dancing at parties, like, I used to love watching videos like that, and then as I got older, as I got into high school, I started watching makeup tutorials, vlogs, and shit like that, and I'll just be on YouTube 24-7, and till this day, I'm always on YouTube, like, ask my friends, ask my mother, ask my roommate, ask my boyfriend, like, I'm always on YouTube, so I'm just like, and it's always been something that I wanted to do, so I'm just like, if I could watch everybody else be on YouTube and get paid to do the things that they love to do, why can't I start my own YouTube channel? So, <laughs> did y'all just hear my stomach rumbling? That's disrespectful. I t your girl is hungry, like, I'm hungry. But anyway, yeah, that's why I joined YouTube. Question 27, what are your fears or phobias? My fear slash phobia is flies 
or insects, but flies. If you know me, you know, you know I hate flies. Like, I hate bugs, period, but flies literally, like, make the hairs on my arm stand up. Like, I fucking hate flies with a passion. And one of my biggest fears, and it's so crazy because I've had this dream multiple times, like, probably over 50 times I've had this dream throughout my life. Um, I'm basically on a beach, right? And the while I'm on the beach, the current just keeps getting higher and higher and higher until it takes over the whole fucking beach. Like, that is a fear of mine. And I've had the dream play out in so many different locations and scenarios. It's scary. But um, question number 28, what was the last thing that made you cry? I don't remember what's the last thing that made me cry. Uh, question number 29, what's the longest you went without brushing your teeth? <laughs> um, probably like two days. Is that dirty? Is that dirty? I don't know. You know, sometimes you're just in the crib and you just feel like being a bum and you just don't feel like brushing your teeth. No, maybe not two days, maybe a whole day and like a half. Like I won't brush my teeth the whole day and then the next day will come and then I won't brush my teeth. But by, by the nighttime of that second day, I'm going to brush my teeth. Like I can't go that long without brushing my teeth. Um, Number 30, question 30. The meaning behind your YouTube name slash other username. So, my name is Tay Lomax on YouTube and on Instagram. And that's just, that, like, that's my real name. Like, my name is Taylor, but everybody calls me Tay. So, my name is Tay Lomax, and Lomax is my last name. Um, question number 31. What was the last book you read? I don't remember the name of the book, but... It was so good. I'm going to leave the title on the screen because I can't think of the name right now. Uh, question 32. What age did you start drinking? Mm. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. I started drinking when I was probably like... Excuse me. When I was probably like 15 years old. 14 or 15, I started drinking. And I was, I was drinking probably for like three years. And then I stopped. I don't drink anymore. But not even on no alcoholic shit, but like I would just drink like with my friends. We'll link up over the weekend and we'll have like get togethers and we'll like put in, we're all pitching like $5 for a big ass bottle of New Amsterdam or a bottle of Pinnacle and we'll all get daddy off of that and we'll play like three, what is it, King's Cup and all these other drinking games, but I don't drink anymore. The last show that you watched was Martin because that's the last thing that was on TV. Um, my relationship between the relationship between me and the person that I've last texted is my boyfriend. The last person you talked to, my boyfriend. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is pasta. I would say if I could just name one thing, it would be pasta. Like I love me some pasta. And I actually, my favorite, favorite pasta is penne alla vodka. Mm. With shrimp. Ooh. Don't get me going. I'm already hungry. All right. Um, number 37. The most embarrassing moment. Okay. So, this was in high school. I don't, I, I was probably like, it was probably junior year of high school. So, um, I used to dance and I used to tap dance. So I went to this dance school called Groove With Me and every single year we would have a fundraiser called Tap and Tappers with um, all different type of sponsors that sponsored Groove With Me because it was a non-profit organization and we would have to perform. So this day I was performing a tap dance. So like every week, every Thursday I had tap practice so we'll go in there we'll tap we'll play around we'll joke around whatever whatever but leading up to this dance practice i wasn't really paying attention in class like i knew some of the steps but i would brush it off like oh i'll just learn that next week or i'll just learn that next week until the following week was the damn fundraiser so 
we get up on the stage they they call our group we it's time for us to go on stage we get on stage mind you i'm in the front so i'm standing in the front on the stage and when i look down i see my dance teacher and a couple other of my dance teachers and then it's like a whole bunch of white people that i don't fucking know so the music starts and i'm tapping i'm tapping and then next thing you know my mind goes blank and my mind goes blank and i look directly at my dance teacher and i'm just like shaking my head like i don't know what to do and she's like just keep going just keep going and i'm moving my feet moving my feet and after a while i just ran off the stage like i literally ran off the stage and was crying because i blanked out like i really did not know what else to do and i was so embarrassed because that has never happened to me before like and i had to go back on the stage again to perform the modern dance and i really didn't even want to do that but they was like you got it like just do it ah, ah. they gassed me up and i ended up getting back on stage to perform the modern dance but it was quiet for tap like once i ran off i ran off and i wasn't coming back um number 38 are your farts loud and proud or silent and deadly i would say silent and deadly like i'm not a loud farter but then again, I wouldn't even say deadly because to me, my farts don't stink. That could be bias, a biased opinion, but my farts don't stink, period. Question number 39, have you ever peed in a pool? Yes, I have. Like, who has not peed in a pool? Point me in the direction of a person that has never peed in a pool and I will tell you that they are fucking lying. Like, everybody has peed in the pool at least once. And it's so crazy because I dare used to have a pink shirt with black writing on it from Virginia Beach that said, I pee in pools. That's so stupid now that I think about it. Like, why would you have a shirt like that? Like, why would you out yourself like that? Next question. Question number 40. Last time you kissed someone. Um, The last time I was home which was for my sister's birthday, which was October 2nd. So October 3rd, that was the last time I seen my boyfriend. So that was the last time I kissed somebody. Um, question number 41, last time you were insulted. I don't know, I don't really, I don't get insulted, so. Question number 42, my stomach is wailing for respect right now. Let, have you ever been catfished? Yes, I have been catfished actually by my own best friend, but that's a story time for another day. Question number 43, what instruments do you play? As of right now, I do not play any instruments, but when I was in elementary school, I was on, uh, I played the drums. I was in like the, I don't know. I don't know, it's not, it wasn't called the band. I was in the orchestra. Yes, I was in the orchestra, so for every assembly or every show that we had, I had to play the drums. The snare, I believe it was called. Question 44, have you ever smoked Mary Jane? Have you ever smoked marijuana? Have you ever smoked weed? Yes, I have. Um, I smoke, I used to smoke when I was in college and then I stopped. Like the first couple of times I tried to smoke, it really wasn't for me. Like I just couldn't get the inhale, exhale situation down. And then when I did learn how to properly inhale and exhale, um, yeah, I, I started to smoke. But I was never like a smoker. Like I would only smoke on occasions and when I felt like it. But I never was like, oh yeah, I gotta smoke like it. Like, no, I've never been a smoker like that. Just an occasional recreation smoker. Question number 45, last sport you played? Uh, never played a sport. Question 46, the last song you sang? I don't remember, but I will leave it on the screen. Question 47, do you shave or wax? I shave, but I do want to try waxing, but I'm just, I'm too scared. Like, I'm a punk. So I don't know, but that's kind of like one of my goals for my 23rd birthday is to get a wax. So we'll see. Stay tuned for that vlog. Um, who was your question 48? Who was your first kiss? So story time, a quick little story time. I remember I was talking to this boy. I'm gonna name him um Day Day. So me and Day Day, we was in the same after school program. 
right? So we had a crush on each other, whatever, whatever. I don't think he was ever my, was he my boyfriend? I don't remember, but I was feeling the kid. So that my after school program was like two blocks away from my mother's job. And mind you, I was in, this was the summer before I went to eighth grade, right? So I, after after school, I would have to walk to my mother's job, being that it was only two blocks away. So Day Day would walk me to my mom's job. So this day, he walked me to my mother's job. And like, I'm not standing directly in front of my mother's job because anybody that's in the lounge, in like the lounge area or the lobby of my mother's job, they will be able to see me. So I stood off to the side, like in front of the parking lot because the parking lot is right next to my mom's job. So we standing there, whatever. And mind you, I'm shaky because I'm like, I never kissed nobody before. And I'm standing in front of my mother's job. So I'm like pressed up against the, not pressed up, but like I'm standing with my back facing the um the parking lot gate and Day Day is standing in front of me and we kissed. And I was just like, oh my God, like I just had my first kiss. Ah. Uh, that was crazy. I remember that day. Like, it was just. And I think, like, right after that, like, my mom walked out or something. So, like, she just. I almost got caught, like, by the skin of my teeth. Question number 49. Last time you hung out with anyone? Um, today, because I have a roommate. So, we hang out every day. Like, duh. Question number 50 is Have you ever been arrested? And the answer to that question is no. I have never been arrested before, but I have been pulled over by a police officer. So obviously that doesn't count as being arrested, but I'm just saying. So yes, guys, that was my 50 TMI slash get to know me questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.